In 2005, Jamie Moore's epic third clash with Michael Jones was one of the fights of the year. And in 2006, he did it again, defending his British light middleweight title against hungry young challenger Matthew Macklin in a mouth-watering domestic confrontation that exceeded all expectations. The experience and southpaw skills of Jamie Moore against the orthodox strength and promise of Matthew Macklin. Two excellent operators, friendly out of the ring, bitterness inside, and do we have a thriller to live up to the hype? Well, obviously, someone will want to make an early impression at the moment. That looks to be Matthew Macklin, who's trying to come forward, trying to get Moore on the back foot, trying to land solid punch as soon as possible. Billy Graham, Macklin's trainer, says Moore will be very surprised by the strength of Macklin that he's used to bullying opponents. And it could come down to this power. Body shots going in from Macklin. Aggression from Macklin. Moore seems unperturbed at the moment. I think Macklin has made an impression in his strength to begin with. He's a little bit reckless with his defences, and he's too eager to make an impression. Yeah, these body shots from Macklin. He's made his intentions early, and Moore backed up on the ropes. That little exchange in Macklin had the last word. It's a little bit early to start looking for signs like that. But then again, his defence is what's going to let him down tonight. That composure there from Jamie Moore, who may have the edge in speed. Some feel Macklin is a little slow and wide with the hooks. He's like a man possessed, Macklin, though. Yeah, well, he, he obviously feels that he can fight at this pace for 12 rounds. Moore is a bit more conservative. He's catching punches, he's thinking about pacing. Macklin making him fight every second here. Cracking action already in this uh, domestic tussle. Again, Macklin pulling his chin away, asking for trouble. Good job from Jamie Moore. Solid. And again. I think there was an effect from that jab. I think Macklin felt that I was bang on the chin. Body shots from Macklin, and Jamie Moore just looked there and acknowledged that. That was a good shot, that one got behind the elbow, right onto the rib cage. And like the good pro he is, he didn't show much, but I'm sure Jamie felt that one. See, I just feel that Macklin is throwing too many power shots. He should be throwing jolting little shots just to try and open up an opponent, but he's winding up every punch, every punch is full power. He cannot do this for 12 rounds. Good clean shot there, picked by Jamie Moore. But back comes Macklin, again working the ribs, trying to rise open the defence and expose any vulnerability in the Moore makeup. Good shot from Jamie Moore. You just can't pick a winner already. This is every bit as tough as we imagined it would be. Moore still got more control of his boxing, but Macklin prepared to take the chances. Shoving Moore off there. Trying to show the natural strength in that five foot ten inch frame. Probably weighing near a 12 stone on the night, Macklin. Than the 11 stone he was to make weight yesterday. You just wonder if the experience Moore has in these 12 round fights will tilt things in his favour.
such a spirited effort from Macklin, but is the tide turning? Now another round where he has thrown so many punches, pushed himself forward. I thought from the opening bell his defences were going to be a problem, and the more you tire in this kind of fight, it's going to become a bigger problem. Moore, by contrast, his chin's down, his hands are up, and we get caught cleaning with that one. Yeah, nice uppercut. That hurt Jamie Moore. And Macklin piles on the pressure. Macklin presses forward again and backs Moore up. Good body shot now. Back comes the champion. Fighting fire with fire. Fighting from the crowds, the hands up, thinking about defence, little bursts of punches. It's ahead, boys. It's really the work rate of Macklin that's giving Moore the, his biggest problem. So if that starts to subside, you wonder if his experience is going to take over. Well, again, I'm impressed with the accuracy and the defence of Jamie Moore. Macklin again giving every ounce he has, but not an awful lot of thought behind it, I'm afraid. Ricky Hatton, the friend of both of them, is right. This is brutal. Toe to toe stuff. Little bump just under Jamie Moore's eye as well to add to the drama here. Well, a lot of clever work in this round from Jamie Moore. He's used his experience, he's used his skill. That was a tough, tough round. This crowd are loving it, and this is the reason why. Only one punch on our computer in it on the ones landed. The quality. Look at that. This is every bit as good as we dreamed it would be. Two young men. Crucial stages of their career, probably Macklin could uh, stand a defeat more than Moore, but you'd never guess it with what he's putting into this. Just a couple of signs in that round that uh, his punches didn't have quite the snap, then he seemed to pull himself together and get back to the powerful shots again, but the little clever clips that uh, Moore was, was picking out from that tight of defence. <laughs> Uppercuts from Moore. They've given him a great deal of success over the years. Macklin waving away. For the first time, Moore just finding a little bit of space to get his punches off. Not the same intensity in Macklin's work at the moment. He's standing at arm's length, which will suit the uh, southpaw Moore. Back he comes again, though. Yeah, beautiful body shots. Just when he was looking disjointed. He comes on with another spurt. Fabulous, fabulous action. This is a hard, hard fight, and who is the harder man? There's a good right hand from Macklin. Who felt that one? He actually dropped his hand so he could see where the next punch was coming from. He really felt that one. Took them nicely. Power from Macklin. Up comes more again. Oh, this is thrilling and so brutal. Who is going to outlast who in that? Good work from Macklin. End of the seventh round. Coming on strong. I have not seen such determination in a young man for a long time. I'm seeing Matthew Macklin tonight. They're very tired that he goes back to the corner. A good body shot. And in a, that was the kind of glancing blow. That was the thumping shot. Just seemed to catch him on the ear. He dropped his hands there. I think that one stunned him, but he came back with good stuff. But another round where Macklin put so much into it. 
Remember Macklin only ever being 10 rounds once against Andrew Facey when he was defeated. Moore has uh, been 12 rounds once, but he's trained more for this sort of championship distance. Well, for the first time, Moore just using a little half step back. Making Macklin miss wildly and countering. I wonder if we'll see some more of that. Macklin tired, he's on unsteady legs because he's tired, stumbling here and there. Moore could exploit that. Look at this from Matthew Macklin. Tries to turn southpaw. He is so fit. And that was so a good left hook. That was a shaker. That caught him high in the head. Matt has stunned him. Jamie Moore in a spot of bowler again. He tries to come back. Great left cross from Moore. And now Macklin is wobbled. Yet yeah, Moore come back with a lovely left hook. They just stop Macklin in his tracks. See, both boys are so tired now, so obvious, but these hard punches have more of an effect. Single shots from Moore into the body, but it's this work rate, this relentless style of Matthew Macklin. It's incredible. I don't think I've seen a fighter so fired up. He's taking the punches, coming right through the pain. Just will not be denied. Just when you think uh, Math Matthew Macklin should be beginning to flag, he comes out with a burst of punching like that. Solid shot which really troubled Moore, caught him high in the head, just seemed to rob him of his senses momentarily. Then he came back with a beautiful left hook of his own, just to steady, there it was, and he caught him with another one. But Macklin just prepared to take whatever pain comes his way, he is so fired up. How about this, Jim? This has been an incredible pace. Uppercuts now from Macklin. Left shot, Jamie Moore. Macklin crashes into the ropes. See, Moore should be looking to find himself some room. He's hurt Macklin, he wants to be stepping back. But back he comes oh, again. Look at this from Matthew Macklin. And Jamie Moore is backed up. What about this? Unbelievable! Well, this is the kind of exchange that can break either fighter's heart. Whoever comes out of this type of exchange may go on to victory, but there's no hints as to who that's going to be. Toe to toe, exchanging with each other in a dramatic fight. And we have no idea what's going to happen next. We've seen this before. Back it comes firing again. Moore beckons him in. Desire a plenty for Macklin. This is good work from Jamie Moore. Macklin's defences are scattered here. Looking disorganised, dishevelled Macklin and holds on. I think Macklin is just too proud for his own good. He looks sold out here, but he won't hold. He won't spoil. Too much heart here, not enough common sense for Matthew Macklin. Gambles it all again. More tired too, though. Body shots from Macklin. One of the rounds of the year. Anywhere in a domestic ring. Three more rounds to go, and it has been sensational. You've heard me say in some of these, this type of fight, there's one round that just decides the outcome. I wonder if I've just watched that round. That sapped so much from both men. Full-blooded punches landing cleanly. Both took tons about and teeing off on the other. Incredible round that was. Tenth round, and this British Lonsdale belt means so much to the pair of them. I mean, this is a fight, Jim, that would live in any era, wouldn't it? I mean, this is incredible. They have just not stopped punching from the first bell. 
Moore again trying to, to use a defence, use his skills a bit more. Macklin shaken by that one. Yeah, good punch from Jamie Moore. Can Macklin oh, hold on, dig deep? Or will he fall apart? Looking disorganised again, Macklin. He's just swaying all over the place, not even thinking about defence, Macklin. Oh, he has to go down, finally, in the tenth oh, That's round. a push, no, that's a push. He stumbled down. A punch landed before him all there, but I think he actually pushed his shoulder. But it's the fact that he, he collapsed to the canvas. He looks as though he has nothing left. Yeah, may not have been a knockdown legitimately, but was that the breakthrough for Moore? Seeing him go down, seeing him exhausted. And there's no start in anything. And he comes back with a beautiful right hand. What training Matthew Macklin has done. Hats off to Billy Graham, Kerry Kays and the team. Oh, that could be Curtis. He won't get up from that. Tenth round, Macklin's out. Fight's over. No celebration for Jamie Moore because the doctors will need to come in. That's the respect between them. And at the end of the war, it is Jamie Moore that comes through a quite phenomenal battle. It was an incredibly punishing fight, but thankfully Macklin made a full recovery and Moore could look to the future. I said it before, it would be like two Mexicans in there, and it was. And, um, you know, I've proved that I can, I can stick it at the top level and um, it, I want to win a world title and then get out on top. I can't keep fighting like that. I've got three more years. I promised my wife, Colleen, that I'll be done when I'm 30. And, um, yeah, I'll have to be done when I'm 30 because I can't keep fighting like that, man.